In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called solving a work problem using a rational equation. We're told that working together, it takes two computers 12 minutes to send out a company's email. It takes the slower computer 30 minutes to do the job on its own. And we want to know how long will it take the faster computer to do the job on its own. So I'll start by just labeling what I know. We've got a slow computer, a fast computer, and we have the computers working together. And I was told the time. So for example, together, I know it takes 12 minutes to send out the email. I know the slow computer takes 30 minutes. I'm trying to find how long it takes the fast computer, so I don't know the time for the fast computer. But in order to write an equation about these computers working together, I can't just add the times working individually to get the time working together, but I can add up their rates. So for example, the slow computer can send one batch of emails in 30 minutes. So its rate is one email per 30 minutes, the fast computer, I don't know how long, it's X, but it sends one batch of emails in X minutes. And together, they can send one batch of emails in 12 minutes. The rate column allows me to take the individual rates, 1 over 30, and add in the second computer, 1 over X, and the new rate working together is 1 over 12. So we have an equation with our variable that we can solve for. We'll want to first find the LCD, the lowest common denominator, to get rid of all these fractions. And between these denominators, first looking at the numbers 30 and 12, the lowest common denominator there would be 60. And then we need to have an X as well. This is our lowest common denominator. I can cancel all of these denominators by multiplying each term on the left by 60X and each term on the right by 60X. This has the effect of canceling denominators. 30 goes into 60 twice. 1 times 2X is 2X. In the center here, the x's cancel. 1 times 60 is 60. And on the right-hand side, 12 goes into 60 five times. 1 times 5x is 5x. We can now solve for x by gathering the x terms on one side. I'll subtract the 2x over, giving me 60 equals 3x on the right and then solve for x by dividing the 3. I'll have x equals 20. Looking back at our chart, x is the time for the fast computer. And we were asked how long the fast computer takes to do the job. Our time is in minutes. So 20 minutes for the fast computer if it were working on its own.